I started a new card to show you how you can coupon at CVS for the very first time. So if you're a newbie and you got a new card with no CRTs, stay tuned. And if you're not, I still got deals for you. Let's get in the store. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Coupon Ones with Lens. We're outside CVS and we're gonna have a couple of exciting things today. I started a new card in my husband's name so I could show you how you could get deals without any CRTs. I also am gonna announce the giveaway winner from last week's giveaway. Uh, it's a $50 CVS gift card, so stay tuned to see if you're the winner of that. Also, the deals are kind of slow this week, but we definitely have some deals we're gonna get. The website was being kind of weird this morning, so I had to like be very creative with making my deals. As always, guys, I have printable coupons linked down below. You can print the coupons for today. We have some pretty good high-value coupons, like that Unisom coupon is $8, and I'm gonna do a Unisom deal today, hopefully, if they have stock. There's degree coupons you should print because there's a fetch reward rebate and a shopkick deal, so go ahead and print those because we're gonna be using those later on this week. Also, those Nexus coupons are printable again, so just go ahead and reprint them because they've now reset. So let's get in the store, talk about these deals. I'm gonna do my newbie card at the beginning of the video and my card towards the end. Stay tuned for whatever you're looking for. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. I wanna answer them as soon as I can. And as always, go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll see you inside. Just to see if anything would print for me, I went to the red box and printed out the CRTs for my newbie card. I didn't get any CRTs, nor did I get any emails. I just got the instant coupon that everyone's gonna get. But since I have my new card, I decided to go ahead and grab my freebie of the week. It's the last freebie we're going to get. It is on CVS Pain Relief. I end up going down the wrong aisle. But there's three different ones that you can grab. So I'm going to show you which ones are available. You can grab the CVS Ibuprofen. That's $5.59. It's 50 tablets. As well as this Ibuprofen down here. That's 50 caplets. But what I'm going to grab is this acetaminophen over here. It's also 50 caplets, but it's priced at $6.79 and that's the highest value. So I'm grabbing this and putting it in my cart. Make sure you clip the digital coupon that's on your app. Everyone should be getting it. It's for free CVS pain relief and this will get you a free bottle. Let me know down below if you've gotten all six freebies. I was able to grab all six. I grabbed the veggie chips online last week. So I was super excited about that. The next deal I wanted to do on my newbie card was this Sting Hill. It was in the wrong spot. It's actually $5.79 and there's a printable available. I think it's on stinghill.com. I'll link it down below if I remember. So I'm going to pay $4.79. I'm gonna show you exactly how I pay at checkout, but I'm gonna get back a $5 extra care buck. I'm making this a nice little money maker. The boost deal is back, but this time it's just buy one, get 150% off. Buy two, get a $5 extra care buck. So I'm going to pick up two of these booths that are priced at $9.79. My total for both of them is going to be $14.68. I have a printable coupon that was four off two that we were able to print a couple weeks ago. There's also insert coupons. You can look on coupontom.com to see where they're from. I just didn't get them in my inserts. But there is a digital four off two coupon. I'm going to hope that both of them apply. So I'll just pay $6.68 at checkout and get back a $5 extra care buck, making it $1.68 for two or just 84 cents each. If you're not into little glitches like that, just ignore that deal. The next newbie friendly deal we're gonna do is on Scope Mouthwash. It's priced at $4.79 this week. And when you buy one, you're gonna get a $3 extra care buck. You should have a $1 digital, although my newbie count did not. So I'm using a $1 paper coupon from the July p and I'll pay $3.79. I'll get back that $3 in extra care buck, making it just 79 cents. So I plan on doing three little transactions for my newbie friendly deals. My first transaction is going to be the boost, the acetaminophen and the scope before coupons. My total is 2516, but after that four off two boost digital and the four off two paper apply as well as the $1 scope coupon, as well as the free CRT for the acetaminophen, I'll be left to pay 1047, but I went ahead and signed up for care pass on this card. So my total out of pocket right now is just $5 because I paid $5 for a $10 extra care buck essentially, because when you sign up for care pass, you pay $5 and you get a $10 extra care buck each month. So this is a great way to start a newbie account. You get your care pass immediately. So I went ahead and applied this $10 care pass to this purchase. So I was left to pay 47 cents plus tax. 
and I had been collecting points on Fetch, so I went ahead and cashed out for a gift card and paid for the 47 cents plus tax on the Fetch gift card. So my current out of pocket is $5 for that care pass and I'll get I'll be getting back $8 in extra care bucks, five for the boost and three for the scope. And I'm gonna roll those extra care bucks into my next transaction. It worked out perfectly. I also got a bonus $2 extra care buck. Sometimes when you start a new card, CVS will get you, give you extra care bucks to get you to shop some more, and that I did. For my second transaction, I'm gonna buy the Sting Kill with that dollar coupon, but my store also had this Booch Pop, which is a freebie over on Ibotta right now. So I'll pay $2.89 for this in the store, and Ibotta will give me back $2.99, making it a 10 cent money maker. But with my $8 in extra care bucks that I'm rolling from the first transaction into the second transaction, I was going to lose a little bit if I didn't buy something else, meaning the extra care buck would mark itself down to a smaller um, value. So I went ahead and grabbed two gear deli chocolates for 50 cents each to add to my transaction so I wouldn't lose any money. So for this transaction, my Steam Kill cost $5.79, my Booch Pop cost $2.89, and my two pieces of chocolate total up to a dollar. I'll use that dollar sting kill coupon. I'll be left to pay $8.68, so I'll use those $8 in extra care bucks that I got in my first transaction, and I'll pay just 68 cents plus tax, and then I'll get back $5 in extra care bucks for the sting kill, and $2.99 for my bada for the health aid booch pop, making my total just 69 cents for these. If this is still a bit confusing, I'm gonna break it down even further at the end of the video with my receipts, so just stay till the end. I wanted to tell you guys if you're a newbie couponer, we can usually get oral care for cheap or free at Walgreens every single week. This week is not a good deal at CVS in my opinion, so avoid oral care deals if you can. But with that extra little $2 in extra care bucks that they gave me for my first transaction, I grabbed these Garnier treats. They're on sale this week for $7 and we have a four off two coupon. So I'll just pay $3, get back $3 in extra care bucks, making them free. But for me, I'll just use that $2 in extra care bucks, pay $1 on a Fetch gift card or on a Flu's gift card and get back those $3 in extra care bucks, still making them free, but just paying a different way. Hopefully these little transactions help you if you're a newbie this week. I know that everyone doesn't do, want to do the same deals, but I did want to show you these deals. If you're a newbie and you want to do hair care, a good deal on hair care this week, in my opinion, is on the Pantene shampoo and conditioner or the stylers. They're on sale this week, three for 15, and we have a five off three digital on our account. After that five off three digital coupon, you'll be left to pay $8 in extra care bucks or in cash, however you want to pay. I choose to roll extra care bucks, but then I'll get back $5 in extra care bucks, making it $3 for three or just a dollar a piece. I wanted to grab shampoos and conditioners, but my store was completely out of stock, so I skipped this deal. That's it for my newbie deals on my side card. So let's get into the deals that I'm going to do on my main card because they're super awesome and I'm excited to share them. So I already picked up the acetaminophen and the sting kill for my main card, but I wanted to show you this Unisom deal because I'm super excited about it. We got $8 coupons in the inserts. There's also $8 printables available in the description box down below, but the printables last longer than the inserts, so I decided to use the inserts today in store. Both of these cost $12.79 in store, so my total for both of these will be $25.58. But on this account, I have a four off 25 pain relief that worked on these. I'm not sure why. I thought a sleep aid CRT would work, but this one was working. So with that four off CRT and the two $8 coupons, I'll be left to pay $5.58, getting back a $5 extra care buck, making it 58 cents for two or just 29 cents a pop. There also is a great deal at Target. So I'm hoping to get in there later on today to do that deal as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do the scope deal again on my card. It's $4.79, the sign is now up, and you get a $3 extra care buck. I have a $1 digital, so I'll just pay $3.79, get back a $3 extra care buck, making it just 79 cents. I did this sole body mitt deal a couple of weeks ago or months ago. It's priced at $6.49, and you get back a $2 extra care buck when you buy one, but I have a $5 CRT, so I'll just pay $1.49 at checkout and get back a $2 extra care buck, making it a 51 cent moneymaker. 
I got this deal from one of the girls at Coupons at my store. Her name's Maria. Hey, girl. She told me about an Asper cream deal that I wanted to do because there's I bought a rebates. So I'm picking up one Asper cream mm -hmm. that's priced at $9.79. And then I wanted to pick up an Icy Hot that was priced as cheap as possible. So I found this one for $10.29. So total both of these products will total me $20.08. I have a $2 Icy Hot coupon from this week's inserts and a $4 Asper Cream coupon from this week's inserts, as well as a 4 off 20 pain relief rubs and patches CRT. So after that CRT and those coupons, I'll be left to pay $10.08, but then I'll get back a $5 extra care buck, $3 for the Icy Hot and $3 for the Asper Cream over on Ibotta, making this a 92 cent money maker, and that's a super awesome deal since we don't have a lot of other deals going on this week. The next deals we're getting into are feminine care deals. You buy Kotex is on sale this week, two for eight, and when you buy two, you get a $2 extra care buck. I have a fetch offer on my husband's account, so I'm gonna pick up two of these for eight bucks. There's a two off two digital, as well as a two off two paper that we're gonna use. So we'll be left to pay $4, get back a $2 extra care buck, and $2 when I bought them, making them free. But since I had that two off 16, uh, pads, liners, and tampons. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Stay Free because Stay Free is on sale this week for buy one, get one 50% off. Spend 12, get back a $3 extra care buck. So the big pack is priced at $9.79 and the small pack is $7.79. So that one will be half price. My total will be $21 including the Kotex. I'll get the $2 in Kotex Digital, $2 in Kotex Paper Coupon. The two off 16 for buying all of these pads, tampons, and liners. I have a two off two printable from Stay Free. There's a three off two digital for the Stay Free, as well as a $3 Stay Free CRT. I'll be left to pay $7.68. Get back a $2 extra care buck for the Kotex, a $3 extra care buck for the Stay Free, as well as $2 over on Fetch for the, for the Kotex products. So the total for at the end for all of these will just be 68 cents for all four or just 17 cents a pack, which is awesome. Again, this is a glitch deal. If you're not into these deals, just go ahead and skip it. The last deal I'm doing over on my card is the boost deal again, but it's going to be a little bit different than my newbie scenario. I have a four off 20 shakes, protein shakes, protein bars and powders CRT. So I'm going to pick up one of these that are priced at $10.79 as well as one of them are priced at $9.79, which brings my total to $15.68 since the second one will be half price. To use that CRT, I need to spend $20. So I found these clearance Celsius drinks. My husband loves these. They're priced at $4.24. So my total with all three of these products is going to be $19.92, which will trigger that four off 20 CRT. And I'll use that four off two boost coupon. I don't have a digital left with this one. So I'll be left to pay $11.92, getting back a $5 extra care back for the boost, making it $6.92 for all three, or just $2.30 each, which is great because my husband really loves these Celsius drinks. And at the gas station, one of them costs like three bucks, so getting four of them for three bucks is insane. Let's get home and go over these receipts. I'm gonna break down the newbie scenarios as well as the deals I did on my card, so it'll be easy for you to understand. What you're looking at right now is the newbie deals that I did on my new card. I have zero CRTs on this card. All I did was sign up for the care pass for $5 so that I could get back a $10 extra care buck to start my deals. So I'm gonna show you how I used that $10 extra care bucks from my $5 investment to get all this stuff for a money maker. Before we get into that, I'm gonna announce the gift card giveaway winner from last week. Remember, Flu's sponsored a giveaway for my 5,000 subscriber milestone. And the winner on the screen is Brianna M. If that's you, go ahead and send me an email over at couponwinswithlens at gmail.com and I will get you that gift card. Thank you guys for entering. Remember, to be entered to the giveaway, you had to have bought a gift card. So that is why you see the names that you see on the screen. Again, thank you so much for entering and let's get into these deals. Remember, I had $10 in extra care bucks because I had the initial $5 investment for the care pass. CVS will charge your card each month $5, but they will give you a $10 reward for doing that, as well as 20% off any CVS health brand items. So I didn't buy any of those items today, so I didn't get that 20% off, but I did get that $10 care pass and I used that to roll into my first 
couponing deal on this card. The first deal that I did was the Boost, the free pain medicine, as well as the Crest. After my coupons, the four off two digital and the four off two paper for the Boost, the $1 paper coupon for the Crest, and the free CRT for the acetaminophen, I was left to pay around $10.47, and I was gonna get back $5 for doing the Boost, as well as $3 for doing the scope, and it worked out perfectly, so I'm gonna show you my receipt. Here's the receipt. My scope rang up perfectly, $4.79. The pain relief was great, and the boost rang up for buy one, get one 50% off. I used that $1 coupon for the mouthwash, the $4 coupon for boost, and the other, one, the other boost coupon came off, just naturally. The CVS pain reliever coupon took off the full value of $6.79. And then I told the cashier I wanted to use my care pass, so she applied it. I paid 47 cents on a FET gift card or a Flu's gift card, whatever you choose. I have both. This time it was a, actually it was my Flu's gift card. So I paid 47 cents on my Flu's gift card and I got back you can see right here, the $5 extra care buck for the boost and the $3 extra care buck for the scope. But I used those, I ripped them off and I used them on my next transaction so I wouldn't have to pay that much out of pocket. But for this transaction, technically I paid $5 for this $10 reward. So I paid $5.47. I got back $5 from boost and $3 from scope, making this a $2.47 money maker, which is a great way to start off my deals on this card. I almost forgot the boost pop. So my second transaction was the boost pop, the sting kill and the chocolates. I only picked up the chocolates because I was gonna roll all of that $8 in extra care bucks into my second transaction, which was this. And it, after coupons, it did not total all the way up to $8. And I didn't wanna lose any of that value. So I bought two chocolates because if you're couponing for the first time, you need to treat yourself. So let's look at the receipt for this and I'm gonna show you how it worked out. So you can see here, I have the two Gear Deli chocolates, the Sting Kill and the Boot Pop. Remember this had an I bought a rebate, that's why I did it in this transaction. My total for this transaction after the $1 coupon was $8.68. I got back that $1 and 2% back, such a silly amount. The $5 for buying the Sting Kill, as well as $2.99 on I bought it for the Booch Pop. Making the net cost for my second transaction just 69 cents, which is fantastic because my first transaction was a $2.47 money maker. So on my first transaction, I ended up getting a random $2 extra care buck that I showed you in the video. Sometimes CVS does that just to get you to come back and buy more. So with that $2 extra care buck, I went ahead and did the Garnier Fruit Tea Steel. It's only on these little treat hair masks. They're priced at two for $7 this week. And we had a $4 off two digital. So after that digital applied, I was left to pay $3, but I used that $2 extra care buck that I earned in my first transaction, paid $1 on a gift card, and got back $3 in extra care bucks rewards for buying these two products. So let's look at that receipt. That receipt ends up being completely free after extra care bucks. Here is that receipt you can see over here that I got two for $7. I used that four off two hair care Garnier coupon, paid $2 in extra care bucks, plus a $1 subtotal on a gift card, got back two cents in my 2% back, and a $3 extra care buck, making this completely free as well. So for today's haul, out of my pocket in cash, I paid $5 for my care pass. Then on my first transaction, I paid a total of 47 cents on my second transaction, I paid a total of 67 cents. And on my third transaction, I paid a total of $1. So in actual cash, I spent $7.14. Five of that was the care pass. That $2.14 was the leftover after I applied my extra care bucks to my transactions. Okay, so $7.14. But from my Ibotta, I got back $2.99 in cash. So my total out of pocket for the day is now $4.15 because I'm gonna get this $2.99 back in cash. So my investment for today to get all this stuff for free was $4.15. I got it for free because my first transaction was a $2.47 moneymaker. 
My second transaction cost me 69 cents. My third transaction was free after extra care bucks. So for today's haul, all of these, th all of these items were a dollar and 67 cent moneymaker since I only spent $5 for that care pass and a couple of cents on the other transactions. I hope that makes sense and I hope I broke it down right. I always count my extra care bucks as money paid. I don't count them as coupons. So if I paid $4 in extra care bucks, but I got back $5 in extra care bucks, that's a $1 money maker. If I paid with $5 in extra care bucks, but I got back $4 in extra care bucks, that is a $1 cost. This is my newbie deals for this week. I hope this, I hope I broke it down enough for you guys. If I didn't, leave me a comment down below, but let's get into my other transactions. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, I still have these extra care bucks for next week's deals that I can save and use next week on my deals starting August 1st. So I'll have $8.03 to go into next week, which is super fantastic. I did these deals today on my main card. So I did the same freebie on the acetaminophen as well as the same, a similar deal on Boost, the same deal on Steam Kill, and the same deal on Scope. But then I did two, a couple extra deals, the Icy Hot, the Kotex, and the Stay Free, as well as the Unisom. So let's go over my transactions for that. I did two transactions on my main card so I could roll some extra care bucks. So let's look at these transactions. The first thing I rung up was that Celsius. You see it right there, it's kind of hiding. It was on clearance for $4.24. You can see it right there. I got the freebie. Um, I did the boost. I needed to spend $20 to use that CRT on the Celsius and the boost. So I grabbed one that was a little bit more expensive and the regular priced one. I got that body applicator that was $6.49 and I had that $5 CRT, so I paid $1.49. And then I got two packs of that melatonin, the Unisom. We have the $8 coupons, which is super fantastic. My $4 coupon was for the Asper Cream. My $8 coupon, oh shoot, my $2 coupon didn't come off. No. My $4 coupon was for the Boost. My $8 coupon was for the Unisom. My second $8 coupon was for the Unisom. I had that CRT for freebie. The $5 Soul CRT that came off. My four of 20 diet nutrition drinks. It changes when you put on this. Ver on, my, on my card, it said protein shakes. On here, it says diet nutrition. I don't know why. That four off 25 pain relief. I rolled $18.99 in extra care bucks. Paid the tax on a gift card. I got back $4 for the Unisom, $2 for the Soul, $5 for the Boost, and that was it. Making my first transaction a cost of $7.99, but I got those Celsius drinks because there's something that my husband drinks. So if you don't, if your family won't drink those, you probably won't pick those up. So if you didn't include that, it would be like a $4 cost, which is awesome because I got Boost products in this transaction, as well as the Unisom. On my second transaction, I got the U by Kotex, the Scope, the Stay Free, the Sting Kill, the Aspar Cream, and the Icy Hot. All my coupons applied perfectly. I had $2 for the Stay Free, $2 for the Icy Hot, $4 for the Aspar Cream, $2 for the U by Kotex, $1 was for the Sting Kill, the $1 digital was Scope. This was a glitch on the Stay Free. $2 glitch on Kotex. I used the four off 20 rubs and patches, the three off Stay Free, the two off 16 Feminine Care. And then I rolled a total of 26, 26 in extra care bucks and on a gift card. And I got back $3.03. .03 for um, the Stay Free, $5 for the Sting Kill, $5 for the um, Pain Products, the Asper Cream and the Icy Hot, $2 for the Kotex, $3 for the Scope, as well as $6 on Ibotta, $3 for the Icy Hot, $3 for the Asper Cream, and $2 on Fetch for the UI Kotex, making the second transaction a cost of just 23 cents. My final cost for this card was $8.22, or without the clearance, about $3.98 if you were doing the deals without the clearance. I'm not hitting beauty today, so my final cost is literally 
$8.22, including my clearance products. But I had a $1.67 moneymaker over here. So my final cost for everything today was about five bucks. Y'all, these are $12.79 each and we have $8 coupons. So definitely jump on that deal. The Icy Hot deal is fabulous. The Scope deal is great for you newbie friendly and the Garnier deal and the Sting Kill deal are amazing for newbie friendly deals. Get your freebies. I'm very excited about this transactions today. Let me know what deals I missed. I feel like I didn't have that many great CRTs on my main card to be able to do lots and lots of deals, but maybe I missed something, but I hope the newbie friendly deals helped you and I will see you guys in my next video. As always, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.